y'all are doing great. Or you want to protect privacy in your phone, but don't want to crash into the technical details. You don't want to make it complex. If you want to minimize the massive and unnecessary exposure of your private data, you want to protect it once and forget it, then this video is for you. Following these recommendations, you will vastly improve the privacy of your smartphone, whether it's iOS or Android. Use these to block network access to apps that don't need it, block access to your Wi-Fi or mobile data, use NetGuard for Android and lock down privacy for iOS. If you really worry about third parties tracking your browsing habits, encrypt your DNS phones with Android Pie or later support encrypted DNS system wide. On Android, go to settings and follow these steps. Enter dns.google as the host name of the DNS provider and save. It doesn't matter at this point in time if Google is managing your DNS queries. The only thing that matters is it's encrypted. On Apple devices, the easiest solution is to use DNS Cloak, which is a secure DNS client. It has its own list of public DNS servers and works excellently. In your settings, disable personalized advertising, which can be referred to as limit advertising tracking. It restricts how much data apps on your phone can use for ads. In both Android and iOS, this might be tricky to completely disable the location services. You might be restricted to accessing some real time or location based features. If can live without them, then go for it. It's better to use maps in a browser when you need it rather than giving full fledged access 24 seven to record your location. Don't share any data with developers. It is never collected anonymously, even if they promise you. Maybe some developers don't use it to stalk you, but it's easy to de-anonymize these data. Use open source and secure alternatives. Use Osmond instead of Google Maps. Osmond Maps is a map application with access to free worldwide and high quality OpenStreetMap IOSM data. All map data can be stored on your device's memory card for offline use. All the main functionality works both online and offline with no internet needed. And the easiest way to start protecting your search records is to switch to DuckDuckGo. It doesn't log what websites you go to from your search results. It has a mobile browser available for iPhone and Android. For private messaging, use Signal. It's the gold standard of secure communication. It's easy and user-friendly and functions much like WhatsApp, but WhatsApp is owned by Zuckerman, which means they collect your metadata, whom you talk to, how long, and also take a copy of your phone book. Brash, just install Signal on Android or iPhone, add your contacts, and enjoy the freedom of truly private conversations. Uh, to avoid privacy invasions from social media apps, use progressive web apps instead of native mobile apps. Um, this basically uses a web browser to create home screen shortcuts that are website versions, but they look and feel like native apps with all features. Progressive web apps are supported by all major web browsers, such as Chrome, Safari, and Firefox. You get more control over what data the app gets access to while using native mobile apps. You have to surrender all your photos, files, documents, mic, camera, location, and many more. Using Progressive web apps, you can revoke these permissions from your browser's privacy settings. In conclusion, Be Minimalist only uses apps that you absolutely need and revoke permissions of apps that can work without them. Always find free and open source alternatives to replace your propriety apps. That would be enough to start with just using these simple and quick fixes. You vastly enhanced your privacy by no means 100% private and secure, but you are now less vulnerable than you were before. Thanks for watching the video. If it is informative for you like share and subscribe to my youtube channel i will be back with another video soon till then have fun and happy learning